Welcome to the channel. Today at the request of a channel member, we'll be covering the Mose Smart Knob. This small multifunctional rotary knob is both small, discreet and cost effective, but also packs a lot of functionality, allowing for small incremental changes ideal for lights, fans or even curtains. In this video, we'll show you what you get in the box, install the battery and put into pairing mode. We'll explain what the modes of operation are, then pair it with ZHA and show you how to install a blueprint so you can use your smart knob. We'll also cover the secret tip for some smart knobs that prevents them using the blueprints and how to overcome this. Is this the device that will gain partner approval for your smart home? Let's find out. For a device that only costs five US dollars plus free shipping on orders over $10, at that price, why not pick up two and get free shipping? Links in the description. The device is 40 millimeters across and 29 millimeters deep and is made of durable plastic with a two-tone appearance, so is small enough to hide away. The base of the unit can be removed by a single small Phillips head screw, allowing access to the battery which is the commonly available cheap CR2032 button cell, which is not supplied, so make sure you have one on hand. The top half of the unit is grey, and that's the portion that rotates, but also acts as the button. Inside the base hides a powerful neodymium battery, meaning the unit can be mounted to a metal surface, such as your fridge. There are two anti-slip pads, so rotating the knob will not just rotate the whole unit. On the base are two pinholes, one marked reset, which we'll use later for pairing, and the other LED, which will indicate the pairing action. A nice inclusion is a metal base plate with a screw hole for permanent mounting, or a double-sided sticker for temporary mounting. This is very similar to some Sonoff products that are introduced with this mounting option, which is great to see. Links in the description. Installation is super simple. Use a small screwdriver to remove the back plate. Insert the CR2032 button cell battery that you will need to supply. Replace the back plate and screw and tighten. Then use the pairing tool, insert into the pinhole on the back mark reset and hold for six seconds. The LED will start to flash, signifying that the smart button is in pairing mode. There are two different modes that can be invoked of command and event, which can be toggled between by triple pressing the button. In event mode, the knob sends different events based on the user's actions. These actions can be including a short press, a double press, a long press for at least four seconds, rotating to the left and rotating to the right. This mode is useful when you want to trigger different automations or scenes in your smart home based on these events. On the other hand, in command mode, the knob sends specific commands like brightness step up when rotated to the right. This mode is particularly useful when you want the knob to directly control a device setting, such as the light brightness, color, or hue. For example, you might want to use the command mode to adjust the brightness of a light and switch to event mode when you want to trigger a specific scene with a double press. To add the smart knob to Home Assistant via ZHA, navigate to Home Assistant, Settings, Devices and Services, press the blue Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner, Select Add Zigbee Device. Now using the included reset tool, insert into the reset pinhole and hold for six seconds or until the LED starts flashing. Give your smart knob a name and optionally give it an area. Now let's move on to the blueprint from SEMA 65 that allows you to easily automate from the Mose smart knob. Link in the description. Now we have added to Home Assistant, you can build automations. However, there is a much simpler way to do this through Blueprints, which are community automations that are shared through the community format called Blueprints. These can be imported into your Home Assistant instance and configured simply. Now I found two Blueprints for use with ZHA, but there are many more for ZHA and for zigbee to mqtt also. The first ZHA Blueprint is from Yuri Hogaveen, links in the description. This automation allows a lot of configuration for various different types of events in both command and event mode. But since it is focused on a more advanced user, we'll skip this. But let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a separate video on this. We'll be focusing on the second blueprint from SEMA 65. Navigate to the link in the description for the SEMA 65 blueprint. Scroll down and press the blue button for the import blueprint. Confirm your Home Assistant instance IP address and use the pencil to the right to adjust if required. 
Press the open link. You'll be navigated into your Home Assistant. Press the preview button. Now press the import blueprint. You should now see a blueprint called ZHA Mo Smart Button for Lights. Press the three dots to the right of the blueprint. Press create automation. Now press the device drop down. If you see your smart knob listed, then you're good to set up your lights. If however, Home Assistant reports no matching devices have been found, then we need to tweak our blueprint for the smart knob to be found. This seems to be a known issue. I'll put a link in the description where it is discussed. Select Studio Code Server in the menu on the left hand side. If you don't have Studio Code Server loaded, then follow the links in the pop-up above and come back once installed. Expand out the folder for Blueprints, then Automations, then Seamus 65. Now select the YAML file starting ZHA Mo's Smart Knob. Now search for Manufacturer underscore TZ3000. Comment out this line by using a hash, and close out the YAML by using the X. Now we need to reload the YAML for these changes to take effect. Navigate to Developer Tools. Select All YAML Configuration. This might take some time, so be patient. Once reloaded, let's retry the Blueprint. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Blueprints. Search for your Blueprint starting ZHA Mo's Smart Knob for Lights. Click the three dots to the right of the Blueprint and select Create Automation. Now use the Devices field and search for your knob. Your Smart Knob will now show up and can be selected. Now let's select our lights. In the Lights section, press Choose Device. Search for the lights that you wish to control and select. In the Single Press section, press Add Action. Search for and select Call Service. In the Service section, search for Light colon space toggle. Now scroll down till you see the targets. Press Choose Device. Select the lights that you wish to control for the single press. Now before we press save, we need to prevent this blueprint from automatically updating when the blueprint is updated by the developer, as this will potentially break the automation. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Take Control. This will turn the blueprint into a standard automation and prevent automatic updates. Now confirm your choice by pressing Yes. Now press Save. Now give your automation an appropriate name and press Rename. Now let's go and test our automation. First pressing the button to turn the lights on, and as this is a toggle switch, pressing them again to turn them off. Now let's test the dimmer function. Press the lights to turn them back on again. Rotating to the right increases the brightness, and rotating to the left decreases the brightness. The performance is average, as I found that turning too quickly resulted in the action not triggering. Also, the functionality of this blueprint is very simple, and I'd like more functionality, and that's where the jewelry automation would come in, as it allows for command and event modes, greatly expanding the functionality. If you'd like another video that covers the Zigbee to MQTT pairing and blueprints, then let me know in the comments below. So should you buy it, consider it, or skip it? There are other options available that perform the same functionality or a lot more, such as the Akara Cube, links in the description to that review, but they come at three times the price. And in my experience, unless you're living in a very tech savvy household, they can be very daunting for non-enthusiasts, offering up to 69 different control options. The most smart knob mounting options are excellent, with temporary via the double-sided sticker and metal base plate, permanent via the screws and the base plate to a surface, or simply by using the inbuilt magnet to attach to your fridge. The Moe Smart Knob is simple yet functional, offering specific controls without making it overly complicated. So for the price of $5 US or 10 for two with free shipping, it's a buy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated.